Hey guys, Steve here. Today is Saturday, April 23rd, 2016. I hope you guys had a good week. Um, I have a lot to share with you. Uh, the majorities are green machines that I got through the mail, um, through other members on Facebook, um, through trades, etc. Uh, actually, of all, out of all of these, only one of them I actually found in the wild. So, and I also have uh, some Japan Historics that I finally uh, got in the mail, and I'll be opening up those to you as well. So let's start with the greenies. Um, I don't know where to start, so we'll start with the um, the box sets here. So I did get, again, most of these I got through eBay, through trades, etc. Um, so here's the first one. Just my camera here. So this is, uh, I believe this is a hobby exclude, uh, set. Um, this is the <coughs> green light uh, Mortal World. It is the Arm, U.S. Army Edition, and it is, as you can see, sort of, it's the, um, all five cars are the raw green machines. It's a very cool piece. Um, this goes along with, this um, will be added to my other raws. Um, just so you, so you can see here what's actually included in this, we have a 67 Chevy Biscayne, a 67 Ford Bronco, a 95 Jeep Wrangler YJ, um, a 2013 Chevy Cruze and a 2015 Chevy Silverado. So very cool piece. Again, it's the U.S. Army edition, and then, like I said, I believe this is um, only available as a hobby, uh, but I'm not 100% sure. But uh, it's, as you can see at the bottom here, or sort of see, there's got the um, U.S. Army official logo, and like I said, there's the green machines, uh, raw green machines. A very cool piece. Uh, the next piece I also got, um, I actually got out from the same seller. Uh, this is another uh, uh, Motor World set. This is Greenlight Motor World Malibu Surf Shop uh, five pack, all VWs. And as you can see here, they are all raw green machines as well. I don't know. Hopefully, you can see those there. Nice thing about these is they're not all. Um, as compared to some of the other raw sets, um, these actually have a little bit more color than um, some of the previous raw sets. So, you know, as you can see from here, from the, for example, this bug here with the rack on it, um, the bottom half, uh, two thirds of the car are, is raw, and the top is painted. <coughs> Same with this middle bus here, with the surfboards. Um, it's only got it's got a slight hint of raw along the middle, right below the windows. And in the front, and the rest of it, we got the lime green bottom half, and the white roof with the surfboards and the green tires. Okay, and like this one here, also about um, maybe 55% of it is raw with the white roof. <coughs> and on the back here, we have uh, here it says two Volkswagen Beetles, two Volkswagen Type 2 buses, and one Volkswagen Samba bus. So. Like I said, those two sets will go nicely with the rest of my RAWs. I have one of each so far that I know of, so I'm happy to get those. Okay. <clears throat> so the next pieces I want to share with you, um, these are the uh, Greenlight Hollywood film reel sets, the four car sets. This is from the movie Bullet, Steve McQueen's Bullet. And um, I have, I found in the wild both the Mustang up here. Oops. Mustang up here and I also found the Dodge Charger and my goal was to get the other two so I can combine them two and make one raw set so this one here as you can see um, we have the uh, 67 Ford Custom green machine and then <laughs> the other one I got found was the bottom one which is of course the Volkswagen Beetle green machine so now I have the, the green machine of all four cars, and like I said, I think I might, I haven't decided yet, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to combine one complete green machine set together. Okay. So, got those in the mail this week as well. Um, I guess I'll work my way down as far as size, and as far as size is concerned. Um, the next two pieces I actually got through trade, um, and we have here... Uh, 
Ooh. We have here um, the Greenlight Series 4 Hitch and Tow. This is a 2013 Ford Explorer with boat trailer. And as you can see on the Explorer itself, we have green wheels and a green base. And then on the boat itself, the trailer and the green wheels um, are green. Um, these are this one is numbered numbered 203. This is actually um, an extra piece that I'll be um, it's already being traded off to a friend of mine. The next piece is the Series 5 Hitch and Tow. This is the 60 excuse me the 67 Ford Custom and Shasta Flight, um, yellow and white. The Series 6. There's also a Series 6 a Shasta Flight that's on the way to me. Um, that one is blue, kind of a sky blue and white. Um, green machine, uh, so green tires, on, green wheels on both. Um, and then the green base on just the, um, the Ford Custom, not the, um, not the Shasta Flight. This one is numbered uh, 234. Okay. <clears throat> the last one here. Um, is series of five as well. This is a 2015 Ford F-150 and flatbed trailer. Uh, the F-150 has green wheels and a green base and the trailer just has the green wheels. This is numbered 74. Okay. Alright, moving on. We've got several um, blister packs here. Um, so we'll start with this one. I just got actually a bunch of these today. So here we have um, we have um, the Greenlight SE. Uh, it says it's the um, limited edition. It's a 77 Chevy G20 paramatic van. Green machine. It's got the green at the bottom there with green tires and no green base. Low number, number 11. And it says here full size vans doing full size full time work. So there's the card there. Never seen this report before until I, it popped up on um, one of the Facebook groups uh, from a member that was trying to sell them. So uh, I want to thank Keith for this one. Okay. Uh, another one he sent me was this FDNY 76 Dodge B100 Hazmat Operations van, full green machine. So we get the full green with the green tires, green wheels, excuse me. Also limited edition. And so there's here Fire Department, New City of New York. And this is also a number, if I remember, number 22. Okay. All right. Uh, the next one is also um, an FDNY piece. It's a Ford Crown Victoria Police Interceptor. Green wheels and green base. Uh, fairly new low number, number 82. Okay. <clears throat> um, here we have uh, another exclusive limited edition, uh, green light collectibles. This is a 68 Volkswagen Type 2 Campmobile, all green machine. Okay. No green wheels. Uh, low number, number 43. Kind of cool. Okay. Uh, this one is the Hollywood series. Uh, I don't know what series this is. Um, That's a Supernatural. Uh, from the uh, Hollywood series from the Supernatural show, 67 Chevy Impala Sport Sedan. It is a green machine. Um, numbered 128. Uh, this particular piece, um, a lot of people are finding in places like Hot Topic. And the interesting thing about this is they all, for some reason, I don't know if it was purposely done this way, but they all have this kind of a gold um, powder dust color on on the car, and they all seem to be appear to be like that. So. I haven't been able to find out if that's intentional or what. But since it's all green, I like the green. Okay. And this particular piece I actually did find in the wild. My first green machine in the wild for quite a long time. This is the GL Muscle uh, Series 14. It is the Mopar 
2012 300. All green, green wheels, numbered 2842. Okay. All right. Moving on. Down to some of uh, the base motor world stuff. Um, let's start with the, these. This base motor world stuff, as, as I mentioned in earlier, um, many many videos before, um, the base motor world stuff are not numbered. Um, so here we have the Motor World edi Japanese Edition Series 15, 2014 Nissan GTR R35 green machine, green base, green wheels. Two thousand thirteen Chrysler three hundred C. This is the American edition, Series twelve, international card. It's got that there. That usually tells me it's an international card. And green wheels and green base as well. International card, American Series twelve again. Uh, Two thousand thirteen Dodge Dart. Dodge Dart GT, green wheels, green base. 12 international card as well 2013 Chevy Cruze and British edition series 5 a little bit older one uh, Mini Cooper Clubman green wheels green base okay so those are all my greens machines I have to share with you um, one thing I do want to share with you before I show the Hot Wheels real quick and the Matchbox is I did pick up this piece, not a chase, but it is one piece that I um, could have kind of been looking for. Um, this is the Auto World Release 1, <clears throat> 1965 Ford GT40. Um, I have the Ultra Red of this and I have the blue one, so I just needed the red one. Okay, so before we get into the Japanese Japan Historics real quick, I want to show you two pieces I found today at the grocery store. Um, a couple matchbox pieces. This is the new case. This is the Tesla Model S, the, the blue variation, dark blue. Uh, new recolor, excuse me, not variation, but recolor. Um, original one was red. Okay. And then this is a really nice piece, uh, Dodge Charger Pursuit. It's a silver police car. Ooh, very nice looking piece. It's nice silver on that. Almost like the gunmetal. Okay. Alright. Now, time to show you Japan Historics. So, I finally, um, after two or three months, I guess it was, um, finally got the new, um, my new, uh, I had it ordered two, case, two sets, excuse me, of the Japan Historics. And... This obviously, as mentioned in previous videos, and probably what you've seen on TV, on on video and and Facebook, um, you know these have been out in Canada for for at least a month or so, and they're actually I mean I'm hearing stories through my Canadian connections that these things are like peg warming already. So, but we're now we'll finally getting them in the states. A um, couple things about these. Um, so I ordered two sets. Uh, some people did order cases. A um, couple things about these are that. Um, they are taped, and these are the ones and everyone else's that I know of, they are taped because we know everyone's been hearing about the glue issues with the blister and the card. Um, so these are taped um, on the sides and the bottom. Um, I will call out some you know, some variations of these things. So uh, number one, there's five car, it's a five car set, and that's the card itself. The cards are pretty nice. Got the Japan Historics there, and I like the, um, the background's pretty cool. Um, in the back, we obviously have, you know, um, a picture of all the uh, cars in this series um, and some general information on the bottom. Um, they are numbered 1 through 5, so this is number 1. This is, of course, the 71 Datsun 510 wagon. Um, these are metal metal um, with wheel riders. And um, the interesting thing about this is there's, at least uh, from what I can tell, um, they were introducing... Um, new tires, so there's kind of um, different tires on these new real rider tires on these cars. Um, probably on one, two, three of these cars, um, the more rounded. Um, so just like other Datsun 510s that you've seen in the past, um, whether it's the Super or um, some of the main lines, there are variations of this one. 
Um, there's um, most like there definitely no there's grill variations. So there's smooth and smooth and the ridged. I'm assuming there's two different size ridge, a large ridge and, and a small ridge. Um, I'm going to assume, although I haven't seen anything, um, I believe there's also base variations. Um, for, for example, on the red original red 510, and even on the yellow, um, the base uh, variation was back here. It, it was either blank or it had the Hot Wheels logo. Okay, or it's, I can't remember. It's either the Hot Wheels logo or the Mattel logo. One of those two. So there's two variations on the base alone. So all in all, um, you know, I, at least you, even if you look at the yellow. Um, if you take the combination of the, of the grill variations and the base variations, there were nine different types of, or no, eight, uh, three, so two grill, three grills, three grills. So there's actually six variations of this, of this car. So, um, this set, I'm going to go ahead and open up to share with you. And it looks like the tape is on there good. So let me crack this baby open. Um, is my understanding that the European um, historics, or I think whatever they call them, are now hitting um, Canada already? So I don't know if you could tell, but I just want to show you the tires on these. So as you can see here, the real riders, they're definitely more rounded on the edges. Um, I have never seen these tires before, so I'm assuming that these are new on these. I like the wheels on these. Um, got the red rim. So, um, and this is a ridged version grill. So, there is the new 510 Japan Historics. Okay. That's the hood. That's the side. Okay. All right. Um, number two is the Nissan Skyline GTR, 2000 GTR. Um, so the number two there. And with this one, um, the variation of this one, although I haven't seen it, I haven't officially seen it. Um, there is a variation of this one in the Flying Customs version of this. Um, and that is um, the seats. So this one, the common one, is a two-seater. The hard-to-find variation, um, assuming there's one available on this one, is a uh, single-seater right-hand drive variation. That one's real hard to find. If you can find one of those, you're in good luck. So very cool. Got the Gretty Police on the side. Pretty blank on top. Okay. Nice and heavy. Okay. Okay, so that's number two. Number three. Uh, we have here the number three Nissan Skyline HT 2000 GTX. <clears throat> there is also a variation of this one. There actually might be two different variations. The common variation is the roll cage. Uh, this one has no roll cage, so that's the the um, the common one. The hard to find one is the one with the roll cage. I actually have it. Um, I meant to share it with you guys. I'll show with share with you next time. Uh, it is a blue roll cage. Blue roll cage. Okay, so here it goes. Number 16. Kind of like the blue base on that, blue metal base. There you go. Okay. All right. <clears throat> the next one, number four, is the Toy Toyota 2000 GT. Yellow. Uh, this one does have. Oh, it does not have the new tires. I thought it did. Actually, oh, the um, the 2000 GTR has the rounded tires like I was telling you about, like on the 510. Okay. 
Um, 2000 GT here has um, pretty common wheel riders on it. So there it is. It's got the green hood. And yellow rims. Okay. All right, and then the last one, number five, is <clears throat> is the Mazda RX-3. Pretty cool piece. I like this uh, better than I thought I would. Um, in purple. This one does have the new tires as well, rounded tires. Um, so you see the rounded tires there. And this is a pretty cool car. I didn't think I'd like it, but I do. I actually do a lot. Okay. Got those same new rims and tires. I don't know if that's a new rim or not. But definitely new tires. Pretty cool looking piece. Okay. So there you have it. The new five um, Japan Historics. And uh, rumor has it that these are, or actually it's not rumors because I have seen it. The, um, these are now starting to hit retail. I don't know what retail yet. Um, I'm going to assume they're going to hit maybe um, t Target first, but we'll just have to ha just have to see it and um, see what the price points are. So, um, a good price for these, I would say, if you're going to order them online, is thirty-five dollars for the set. Um, that seems pretty reasonable, I think. Um, and don't don't pay any more than that because you could probably find them, like I said, um, elsewhere or. Um, through other collectors as trades or even um, like I said in retail um, when they come out okay all right guys that's all I have for this uh, for the session here I hope you enjoyed it have a good weekend the rest of the weekend and um, try to think I don't think anything's coming up at this point we have a club meet on May 7th whatever it's for Saturday Saturday of uh, May of May is um, so hopefully, I don't know if I'll have a video for you guys before then, but we'll see what, uh, how the week, actually I probably will, because I actually have some more stuff coming in the mail. So I should have to do one, be able to do one more, uh, one more video before our club meet and then uh, on our club meet. Okay. All right. So until then, happy hunting and we'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.